Hey there, I want to walk you through setting up your gradebook. The first thing we're going to go to after we're in Power Teacher Pro is we're going to go to the A plus charm on the left and we're going to go to categories. Now there's several different things you could do here in categories. Um, this teacher just has four showing because she's made all the others inactive and I can click right here and show all the ones that she is not using. So she went ahead and made them inactive so she won't accidentally assign an assignment to one of those categories. I'll show you where you can make that inactive in just a minute. Um, but these are the four categories she wants to use. These little icons indicate that it is a district category set up already and these two are categories that she created herself because she wanted it to be named this or there wasn't one that fit her needs. Um, in order to create your own, you will have a create button up here at the top. I don't have that because this isn't my grade book, um, but you should see that up there. So let's look at one of her categories. Let's look at classwork here. Um, to look at the options for classwork, I'm going to click on edit over here on this pencil button. And you'll notice there are three tabs here. The first tab is category. Um, this is where I could make it inactive if I'm not going to use it and I want to hide it so I don't accidentally use it. Um, I could change the color if um, you have two that are on the same color, that would be fine. I mean, that's where you could change it if there's two of the same color so you don't get mixed up. Um, and you don't have to choose select classes. The second tab is assignment defaults. Um, Normally you don't have to go in here, but I've had questions from people, so I want to walk you through this. Um, under score type, you can choose either points or percent, but be sure you are consistent among all of the categories you're using. So this one is set to points, so her quizzes need to be set to points, her homework needs to be set to points, her project needs to be set to points. We have seen grade books that did not calculate correctly because some of the categories were points and some of the categories were percent. So it doesn't matter which one you're using, just make sure you use the same one each time. Now for scoring and the entry points here, I think this defaults to 10. And right now this is the default settings that we're changing. Um, so if most of my assignments are going to be out of 100% or, or out of 100 points, I want to set this to 100 so I don't have to change that every time I add an assignment. I can still change assignments if I want to. Say I have one out of 25 points. I can change that individual assignment, but right now I'm just setting the default so I don't have to change it for every time. I'm going to leave it to say publish immediately and to publish the scores and to count it in the grade going to leave those options the same and then view all it's just showing the categories that she's using so I'm going to get um, she would probably have a save button and like I said because this isn't my grade book I don't have the save button so I'm just going to close out of that category so I would check all of these and make sure that it's set to points or percent whichever you're choosing and that your your number matches here and so I sometimes have to jot down what the title of the category is and what the color is. So when I go into my categories and set up the weights, I'll make sure I've chosen the right ones. Um, so now let's head over there. I'm going to go down to settings and traditional grade calculations. And this will bring you to your list of courses. Um, in her grade book, I wanted to show you this one because this course right here, she has not set up yet. And the reason I can tell that is these blue text boxes that, sh that actually say it hasn't been configured for this term. Um, it's set on total points, so that's fine. Um, that lets me know she hasn't done anything here. F1 is your entire school year. And anywhere it says term waiting, the district has set those for you and you cannot change them. I'll show you what they are set at. Um, for F1, this would go for middle school and high school. It shows 40, 40, 20. And when I first saw this, I kind of panicked because our middle schools don't give an exam. However, there are some middle school classes that are counting as high school credit. So she had to set the whole middle school setting to show 40, 40, 20. What will happen when most teachers do not put an E1 grade in 
it just sends that 20%. It'll send 10 up here to semester two and 10 up here. Um, and I'll show you the semester weights. That's really what matters in middle school. The semester weights have also been set so that you cannot edit them. And this just shows you that N1 and 2 are 50-50. They're all counting the same. So in the very end, when it calculates, each semester would count the same. Now, if she wanted to leave this total points and not do anything, she could do that. And it defaults to total points. Um, that's the category she's using. Um, everything will be total points. If she wants to set category weights, let me show you. She has already set up one, so let me find which one that is. Again, I can tell this one hasn't been done. And that one. Okay, it's this last one because that was the first one that popped up for her. See how it looks a little different? So what she can change and you can change is the N1, 2, 3, and 4. This is the category weights. So I'm going to go over here. And she has chosen to use category weights. And she knew that she had four categories to use. So what she's done is she's added four categories here and right there's the little plus button if you only see one and you need to add another one she's clicked it so that she could see four see I'm adding more um, she chose what category she wanted the first one to be and she set her weight which is a percent um, let me delete these because it's messing up this percent right here so now it looks back right um, then on her second category weight, she chose, made sure she picked category weights, and she chose quiz, and her quizzes are worth 30%. Category weight again, homework, 10%. Category weight, assessment, 40%. You have to do this for each of the nine weeks, for N1, N2, N3, and N4, and you have to do it for each class. That's just one class. Then I would need to do it for this class do N1, N2, N3, and N4. And then the next class. So basically if you're looking at this screen and you see that blue, big blue bar, it means you haven't set it up yet. Now um, back on this class where I was looking at the weights in the categories here, I didn't have a save button. You would have a save button down at the bottom to save whatever you make changes to. Um, I'm just going to address it because it is right here and some people like to do this, the drop lowest scores. We suggest you turn this, leave it turned off until the very end of the semester because if you turn this on right now, it's going to constantly throughout the semester or the nine weeks be dropping the lowest score. So kids' averages are going to go up and down and up and down and it really throws parents off. We've had multiple, multiple calls for that. So we suggest you turn this off or turn this off for the whole nine weeks, but you can turn it on towards the end if you really want to have the computer drop the lowest score. Um, most people just leave this alone and don't even show it, but I do have some that like to use it, so I want to address that while we're here. Um, I think that's it for setting up your grade book, and then she would be ready to go into her score sheet, and I'm not going to click there because you'd see all her students listed, and um, I can't show you that. so. I hope this helps a little bit.